And now to this shock and anger from California to New York tonight over these racist text messages sent to predominantly black people, including children. Even students in Santa Monica are reporting receiving these hateful messages. Yeah, federal and state authorities, they say they're trying to track down the source of the text, which started to appear just after the presidential election. Chris Wolf spoke to students and parents in Santa Monica. You have been selected to pick cotton at the nearest plantation. Pack your bags. Our executive slaves will come pick you up. These are some of the words of text messages black Americans, including grade school students, have been receiving since the historic presidential election on November 5th. I want to thank the American people for the extraordinary honor of being elected. Some of the notes include names of the recipients, locations of the so-called plantations, and mention the involvement of Trump representatives. A spokesman for the campaign strongly denies any connection. The source of the anonymous messages, the number and scope are unclear. According to reports, local, state and federal law enforcement agencies are now investigating. KTLA has discovered some students at Santa Monica High School were targeted. If words can cut like a knife, these wounds are deep. And one of my children wants to leave the country. Erica Leslie is active in politics in Santa Monica and at the high school. Her son showed her a text message which says he was selected to be a slave. Which, of course, I, I know that it has more nefarious implications because how did they get his phone number? Um, what other information do they have? Do they have the address? Do they have the medical records? You know, because all the stuff that you send into the school is obviously a data breach. But for it to be coordinated this close to the election, it's like how long have they been planning this? My first reaction, because I was with my other friend who got it, I was really shocked and I kind of started laughing because I didn't think it was real. And it was just really surprising. It's really upsetting because I didn't think something like this would actually happen or they'd actually do this to people, especially students. So. We get this text message the day after the, um, the election and it's it gives you like, maybe we're not so safe in California. Like we're not so protected. The superintendent of the Santa Monica Malibu Unified School System says he is extremely disheartened that local and national youth are experiencing this hate and racism. He says while some parents believe that a data breach is responsible for students' personal cell phone numbers being stolen, that is not the case because this school does not collect and retain that kind of information. If you have received this kind of hurtful text message, contact your local law enforcement. In Santa Monica, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.